Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of Coconut Wireless convert the citizenry of Brightwood to the way of the spark. KOTT News were immediately on the scene and were able to speak with the company cleric about the skirmish. Congratulations on your victory here in Brightwood, making it over in about 10 minutes flat. Uh, how do you think it went out there for you tonight? Uh, you know, on a, the wide scale, it went pretty well. Company-wide, our whole roster did pretty well. It was, I'm proud to say it was about 48, 49 company members, so that thought it feel a good story. Uh, me personally, just trying to shake off the rest, so, you know, it was all right. All right, well, second fight back, and you got a victory, so that's a good start. Was there anybody out there who was really standing out in their performance tonight? Um, you know, I think you got to start from the top there. On Ice was a really, or I guess On Fire, his character name is. Really good shot caller. Um, we came equipped with the, with the good plan. And I think, you know, all around the roster, you can pick out a few different names that just always perform. And if you look at the leaderboards like today, they're just performing again. So consistency pays off. Later in Cutlass Keys, Coach Domepiece stopped to give a couple words about the spring tryouts. Congratulations on your victory here in Cutlass Keys. Once again, the crocodiles are in charge. How do you feel it went out there? Uh, just business as usual. Uh, giving some new people some practice. Oh, it went well. New people getting some practice. Excellent. Any of the uh, freshmen getting some uh, reps, huh? Anybody stand out out there? We got to review some vods, but yeah, there was some there was some good work out there. Turning to the weather, and once more, the sun will carry on, making for a peaceful day of gathering material all afternoon. Then be on the lookout in the evening as a 30% chance of corruption invasion will rise up across the island. Three more lineup submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it is cardboard! First up, the Marauders of Unethical assail the Covenant forces of outcasts for control of First Light and the flow of the spice. Unethical forces return to the Hisop and Spice production facilities to try again after being rebuked earlier in the week. But have they adapted to overcome? The zealots of outcasts believe it is their divine right to control the luxuries of the island. But will their faith in the spark be enough to hold off the plunderers? Later, the syndicate members of pharmaceuticals assault the marauders of bottom of B tier Dodgers for control of the always uncontrollable Restless Shore. Pharmaceutical forces executing their right to rematch against the Dodgers forces that knocked them off the mud hill last week. They're standing ready at the bottom of the hill, waiting for tonight's battle horns. At the top of the hill, Dodgers forces await in the salty sea mist of the breaking waves constantly spraying over the muddy battlefield, stoically standing by, staring down at the enemy before them. Meanwhile, the syndicate members of JDB's kitchen attack the marauders of bottom of B-tier Dodgers for control of the arid desert region of Brimstone Sands. Turnabout is fair play as the kitchen staff of JDB's Kitchen served the cold dish of revenge upon the surely suspecting it was coming forces of Dodgers with tonight's double declare. It's time for a real test as the bottom of B-tier Dodgers stand their ground on two defensive fronts tonight. But will they hold the choke in advance to B plus tier? Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.